Okay, let's see here. Six. Alright. Well, welcome. Well, you can't even see me, really. Hold on. Oh, that's a little better. Uh. Welcome to my Until Dawn Part 6. I was playing earlier for a little bit. Oh, let me turn this off, actually. I feel like that's getting into the stream. One second here. Okay, so, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so, I was playing out there, and did a few things, and now we are going to take control of Matt, and Matt, actually I had, or when I was playing Mike, I found this right here, and this is Matt. The guy I'm taking control of now, the one on the ground. Him. So this is a potential loss of a friend. That's a creepy looking dude. So uh yeah. Um so if you're new to this to my stream, um uh, I'm actually gonna do thirty minute chunks. So in 30 minutes I'm going to stop start because I do upload videos to YouTube uh, regularly. I put all of these on there so if you want to watch from the beginning I will warn you the first episode is two hours long because um, basically I didn't think about doing that half an hour on, half an hour off, half an hour on, half an hour off type of thing until after I uploaded that one because then I was like yeah two hours is probably going to be too long of videos for the uh, I resorted to 30 minutes on 30 minutes on yeah or 30 30 30 yeah you know what I mean anyways so here we go just just pull it up and as I said I think right now we are about five hours until dawn and then um yeah let's we'll go from there Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. So, really quick, um, uh, how many, what part was that? I think part three or two of my series here. I, uh, was taking control of Chris and I found a secret I room. Josh is dead. I can't believe oh, well. how he died. Well, we'll no, get to that I right mean, now. What if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take the word for it. Um, so as I was saying, you take control of, uh, what was this? Paint? Paint? It's still fresh. I can't pick it up. Paint. There was some graffiti or writing earlier. Oh, there's a totem there. Is there anything back here? No? This looks like a damn death totem. It looks like it. Yeah. Oh. Damn, Matt's in all sorts of trouble here. On the one hand, he could fall to his death here. What was he doing? Was he holding on or did he fall? I can't tell. On the one hand, he could fall there. And then over here, he got his face smashed in. Like, Matt's not looking too good right now. His future is looking... Pretty uh, pretty rough there. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I was taking control of uh, Chris, found a secret room, and there was a camera in there. And then uh, it was my assumption that there were cameras all over the place. And then right before this, you actually see a guy or Look, one. An axe. I feel better with an axe. Um, a guy or one of the guys killing people or trying to kill people. Um, like watching all the camera feeds and all this other good stuff. Oh, it's just on the door. Paint. Oh, it has the red paint on it. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. If I start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, the window well, on the left. Look! What? A window. <sighs> That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Think again, lughead. No can do. For one thing, that maniac is probably just sitting there under that window waiting to blend us into pina coladas. <laughs> okay, fine. Here it goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! Oh yeah, by the way, in case you're not Emily, she's uh she's kind of a bitch. Butterfly effect, nothing there, nothing there. Whoa, there's a bunch of clues here, I didn't even... Okay. Only a single cigar is left, it has a distinctive brand label. The map sightings and recent disappearance marks with it. It looks like the work of an obsessive mind. Uh, oh, that's the... <coughs> subbed out cigarette. Oh, it's an update. Uh... It definitely wasn't there before. That is true. Any more? Damn, I found all these clues. I didn't oh, this is updated. A map showing structural faults. Yeah, yeah. According to the telegram, the owners were trying to cover this up. Okay. A chip with restraints. Blood on it. Weird experience. So there's the telegram that the map that I just looked at it was referring to. And then uh, emergency medical tag. Apparently someone ate that person's intestines. A disfigured human head, formaldehyde. This was from a reporter. Uh, this must be the camera mentioned in the newspaper. I someone really didn't want the pictures to get out. Uh, this is a medical report for the 12 minors. There were 30. Oh, it even has the update there. The report mentions 12 minors, but there were 30 clocking in cards retrieved from the mine. There is no indication of what happened to the other 18. So basically, this sanitarium, they had a big press conference uh, saying that they had a, su a successful uh, recovery of all, quotes, uh, 12 minors, but really there were 13, so the other 18 are unaccounted for. The photograph only showed 12 survivors. And there's that. There goes the 12 survivors. There were 30. And then... Oh, and this is the... Referring to the camera. 
the uh, the reporter was trying to take pictures of what was going on. I guess he found some stuff. They beat him up, kicked him out, took his camera, and broke the camera. And there you go. Everything is like so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. There's the cable car, so behind the cable car you could go up the ranger path to the radio. Oh, okay. Hey, there's got to be something we can do. Hey, look! Fire tower. Or fire tower, whatever. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? She's such a bitch. She really is. Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. <sighs> Oh, that was this. Speed control. Great. Oh, you need a key. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? What? I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. Mm. <sighs> yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. We can use the radio to call for help. But somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Wow, Matt, good call. Radio, so smart. Why aren't you being so bitchy? We're in a serious situation. Well, here. Matt, easy. Let's see what happened. Bravery went up, Charitable went down, Emily went down. I don't give a fuck. She is a bitch. Oh, hold up. What? It's cooking, good looking. Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, this is where I might fall as Matt and die. It has to be, right? I should have said disagree, let's head back. You all right? Yeah, uh, first. To protect me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's why. Okay. Okay, easy now. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely right. where I could fall. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Okay. Come on, Emily. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Okay. Maybe if I didn't hit square in time, I would have reached out for her and would have fallen. Then again, I might fall on the way back. Guidance. Flare gun. And this is her giving me the flare gun. So for Matt to take it. Or at least it looks that way. That's the thing. These guidance stones, they give you an, a, a vague idea of what you should do. See, so that might be the initial interaction, but then I might. But then I might be able to deny it, you know? If it doesn't, we need a plan. 
maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just going to give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Pull up, wait it out. It, it'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I might fall here. He's going all the way over there. What's to the left? Oh shit. Am I supposed to go over here right now? You know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna follow her. Oh, there's something shining over here. Come on, Emily. Oh, it's another... T damn. So many fucking tones. White. Wait. Alright, so Chris is limping. Ashley's inside. Chris is knocking. Better large Chris is limping, has a weapon. <sighs> so maybe at some point in time, as Chris, I have to tell her to run ahead of me or something, or to wait for me in the whatever, or maybe I go explore something on my own as Chris, or vice versa, if I'm actually tell him to go explore on his own while I wait. And then he gets into some shit where he's li uh, he gets hurt, and then I come back. Like it's so fucking vague. Oh shit! Danger. To my death off a snowy cliff top. <laughs> yeah, what is that? Bats. I don't know. Oh. Jesus! <laughs> what the hell? Why are they all just going that way? <laughs> Maybe I should have just gone through the little fucking thing. Oh, Sam. Hello, Sam. <gasps> that was a body. Oh, that's the killer. One of them. There's definitely more than one. Hello? Guys, what are you doing out there? Being creepy. Okay. I think I hit the half an hour mark already. So this is what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to stop start the stream, so just give me maybe like 30 seconds, maybe, okay, be right back. Alright, stopping then starting. <laughs> 